Hello Pisces, this is Deb's Deborah Claire channel guidance and we're into mid-October Pisces. Hope everyone is well, it is really good to be back with you guys. Um, Pisces, coming out of meditation, Michael showed me a beautiful scene, oh my goodness. It looked somewhere like the Norwegian fjords, rivers sparkling in the sunshine, amazing scenery. And there was a lone woman in a canoe gently heading through these fields you could hear a pin drop it was absolutely silent there was no sound at all no sound at all in meditation i was looking at this view and in my head i was asking archangel michael is there something that's going to happen what is next and i just felt, I can't explain it, I felt him smiling and he said, no, there's nothing that's going to happen. She's just enjoying life. And I thought, okay, thank goodness, breathe a sigh of relief. She's just enjoying life. That was it. That was a meditation. So Pisces, usually for me, as you know, there's um, a vision or sound or a feeling that comes through with a very specific meaning. Something's going to happen. Something's going to be uh, moving in a different direction. This was just tranquil, peaceful, calm. It may suggest that Pisces, finally, you've reached a very calm place in your life. And maybe for some of you, you're able to take a break. Let's see. Let's delve in. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us in this reading for my Pisces. This is mid-October 2021. Mid-October 2021. Thank you, Michael. Beautiful. I'm hearing Archangel Ariel, Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Haniel, Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Michael. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, all right, Pisces. <laughs> I'm hearing, leave me alone, leave me in peace. <laughs> I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to be with anyone. I just want to be by myself. Okay. <laughs> Cards are being awkward. Yeah, so Pisces, you've got the Seven of Wands. I think that this is going to be a period of time, Pisces, where you're going to be putting up strong boundaries. This could be you, very busy in your job. OK, it could be your boss has given you a lot of work. OK, I cannot cope with any more work. I don't have time, energy, the enthusiasm to be amongst big groups of people. Remember the vision, Pisces. Silence. Maybe you've been plugged into social media for a long time. Maybe you're just used to opening up your laptop and getting on with work. Whatever this is for you, you're calling a halt to the proceedings. You're just saying, I can't deal with any more. I'm protecting my home. I'm protecting my space. I need some peace and quiet just for me. People may not like it, Pisces, but this is really, really important. If you feel drained, if you feel lacking of energy, if you are highly stressed, this is a time for you to really take a break. You're saying to other people around you, no, no, you're not making life difficult for other people. You're not wanting to cause problems. But Pisces, you are defending your right to a little bit of you time, whatever that is for you. Yes. OK. Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow, this is such a strong message coming through. You are dreaming, Pisces, of a simpler life, a simpler time. For some of you, you may even be considering literally booking somewhere in the middle of nowhere, the Norwegian fields, not a sound on your own, okay? Booking a log cabin somewhere. I just need a week where I can go on long walks, I can detox, I can relax, I can put my feet up, no social media. It may be that you're just burnt out, Pisces. 
but I don't get a stressed energy from you. I just get a quiet backing off from life. I, I just I just need to be by myself. I'll explain this energy that I'm feeling to you in a minute. It's a very interesting energy. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pisces. Making me laugh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You you are nervous about telling people that you need a bit of space. You're a bit nervous. For some of you, you're worried, maybe, oh God, what's my boss going to say when I say I want a two-week holiday, right? Um, what are my clients going to say when I say, I'm sorry, I'm not taking work for a month? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whew. That's a very interesting energy. Okay, Pisces, final card. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a big sense of pushback from you. Big sense of pushback from you. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. You just had too much going on, Pisces. Way too much going on. All right. <laughs> Under the deck, guys, we have a boat and we have water. And we have silence, Norwegian fjords. I don't know why that came through so strongly. You're getting out of dodge, okay? Whatever that means for you, you're protecting your privacy, protecting your right to some peace and quiet. Yeah, absolutely, the hermit. Really interesting how this energy is playing out. I just need quiet, peace, silence. No emails, no phone calls, no Building up paperwork in my in-tray is what I'm hearing. No more. For some of you Pisces, you've kept going, you've kept going, you've kept going, you've kept going. Because you're stronger than most people think, Pisces. But I think this is a point where you're realising, I know that I need some kind of respite. You really do. All right, guys, that's Dalvin. Yeah, Pisces. You're standing up for the need for you time. Six of Cups in reverse. I'm hearing yearning for a simpler life. Yearning for the time where you were sitting in the garden, the skies were blue, looking at the flowers, playing with your pets, not having a care in the world. This is what you're heading back to. Because, Pisces, you've missed it. You've got entrenched in modern day life. Trains, planes, noise, crowds of people, endless emails. You're stressed. You're burnt out, Pisces. Three of Swords. Heartbroken that you've left this beautiful, simple life behind. Maybe thinking about childhood days before you got your first job. Uni days, whatever this was for you. You've realised you want to come back around to that time. In the past, with the Eight of Cups, you thought about taking a break, you thought about leaving your job, going on sabbatical, retiring. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. And instead, you fought the battle. Five of Swords, dealing with people who demanded your time, demanded your energy, a bit selfish. Me, 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 me. Pisces, I need your help. Pisces, will you do this, that and the other? Pisces, can you be here at this time, at this place? You worked with these people, maybe even literally 
you dealt with these people, but it took a lot from you. Your energy, your time, your spark. For some of you, you just felt a bit flat. And this is the point where I laughed because this was so clear to me. Look at this. This is where you've been. This is where you possibly are now. Eight of Pentacles. Working, 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 working. Endless emails, endless paperwork. Working overtime, so stressed, so exhausted. This is what you're thinking about. I just need a break. I just need a break. Not for very long, maybe a couple of weeks. I just need a break. And Pisces, I don't mean going on holiday with your girlfriends and up every night, you know, having a few drinks. I mean a real break. Not taking your laptop, taking a book, taking a diary, taking a camera, getting out in the middle of nowhere and just relaxing. Sleeping when you feel like it. Doesn't matter if it's in the middle of the day. Holding yourself up with some really wholesome food going on long walks, taking your pet somewhere nice, maybe a little B&B &B somewhere, maybe self-catering. You just need to step off the train. Because it keeps going, Pisces. That is life. The train of life, it keeps going. And occasionally, you need to step off the train and take a break. And this is what you're thinking about. Yes, for some of you, you're worried. I'm going to be losing a little bit of money. I'm not going to be working for a couple of weeks. Well, can you afford to do it? Is there any way you can do that? If you can afford to take a break, try and do it. Because Pisces, I'm connecting with someone or a group of you who are really exhausted. Michael, when do we have the energy of the hanging man in the immediate future for my Pisces, please? Third and fourth of third and fourth of November. Okay. Pisces, you're having a conversation with someone. And this is you opening up to how you feel. This could be to your HR manager, this could be to your partner, this could be to your kids, this could be to your clients. What you're saying is the hangman. I feel a little bit stuck because I have so much to do, so much weighing on my mind that I don't quite know how to get out of this situation. As in, my boss can't let me go on holiday for two or three weeks. I'm stuck. Or it could be that you're saying to your kids, I feel really trapped in the situation that I'm in. I need to take a little bit of a respite, but I don't know what you guys are going to do. You know, this is you talking to your kids, maybe. Do you want to go and stay with auntie such and such? Can you go and stay with grandma such and such? Do you want to do that? Do you want to go away on a school break? Or you're trying to figure out how to create time because you're stuck. So whoever you're talking to in your environment, Pisces, you are figuring out how to do this. If this is to your clients, for instance, this could be you putting um, a message on your website, whatever this is, saying, I'm so sorry, I'm not going to be taking any clients for a couple of weeks. If this is your boss, you're saying, look, I know that we've got a heavy workload. I know that it's the wrong time for me to go away, but you're being open and honest. I am exhausted. I cannot work at this pace. I just need a few days. Give me a long weekend. Can I just take two days off, Monday and Tuesday? So you've got four days break. You're finding a way of creating time because you're, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling exhausted. You're feeling, you know, held upside down, chained to your ankles to a cycle that is seems to be never ending. People aren't going to like it. Knight of Cups in reverse in your environment. Oh, well, that doesn't make me very happy because I, I, I really felt that things were going to be moving forward in this project. I thought that you were happy 
this is a little bit making me stuck now. This could be a boss, your kids, your clients. Oh, no, I'm not very happy about this. So you're not going to be around, right? Oh, OK, well, that. Oh, so I'm going to have to wait for you then. Well, yes. This is what you're saying. You are going to have to wait until I've got my strength back. What you're fearing is actually speaking your truth. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I'm so tired. Page of swords. You're not looking forward to telling someone around you or a group of people, yeah, sorry, bad news is, page of swords. I'm not going to be around for a few days. And people going, what? Not around? No. Pisces. Yeah, you'll say, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to be around for a few days. Where are you going? Well, I don't know yet. You may even decide to tell people that you're still thinking about it. You may know exactly where you're going, but what you don't want to happen is people following you and kind of banging on your door. No, 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 no. You don't want people to be able to reach you. It may even be at that point where you need to completely seclude yourself. What you're hoping for is maybe for some of you with a two of cups in reverse, get over a very painful situation in the past. Maybe this is why you've been feeling a little bit down. Maybe this is why you need to take a break. Maybe you've been pushing, 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 pushing forward with work when underneath you were dealing with a heartbreak. Someone not coming back to you. I need time to really clear this out of my system. I've been covering up this pain, this heartbreak by overworking. For some of you, that's true. The final card is lovely, Pisces, because it's a soft energy. The Page of Cups is you telling people around you, look, I think you guys are great. You know, I love you all, but I'm sorry, I need to take some time. I haven't gone anywhere permanently. I'm coming back in a few days. Don't worry. But I need a bit of time. I don't want any phone calls. I don't want any more emails. I don't want any more paperwork to go through. No. I'm quietly heading in a direction which is going to allow me to take my foot off the gas. Quietly, secretively, not telling anyone where you're going. I just need to get out of here. I just need to be in hermit mode for a few days. I just need that. Give me some time. So this is what you've been dealing with, Pisces. Seven of Cups. You have dipped into a lot of things recently. It could be a lot of clients. It could be a lot of emails. It could be a lot of projects. You've been dealing with a great deal. It's kind of sapped your energy. With the Seven of Pentacles, you may have ended up, you know, boosting your finances. Things are good, right? I've, I've managed to clear my debt. I've managed to put a little bit of money away. But it's been draining. It's been draining. Interesting. We have a seven and a seven. Now, two sevens are 14. That makes up a five and five is a challenge. So even though you have boosted maybe your security, you've been incredibly busy. You're doing lots and lots of things. What you're deciding to do is with the energy of the world, take a break. The world is worldwide travel. The world is ending a cycle. I think, Pisces, you're coming to the end of a cycle of just giving too much of yourself. Saying to your boss, yeah, OK, I don't really want to have to work until seven, but OK, I'll do it. I think now in the nicest sense, you're going to be saying, I'm so sorry, but it's just not convenient. I will have to leave at six. I'm contracted to do. I can't work any more late nights. Can't do it. With the Four of Cups, it may be that you're given opportunity after opportunity, more clients, more work, more, more money coming in. You're looking at this going, I just don't want it. I just don't want it. It may almost be getting to the point, Pisces, where you might have loved the work that you do, 
but you've almost got to the point where you're not enjoying it anymore because you are forcing yourself to work super hard. It's just not enjoyable anymore. It's just too much. And you may be also getting to the point where you have no time for you. You've got no time for a social life. You're exhausted. You don't even want to think about love. Love? I can't even have time to get up and wash my hair in the morning, let alone go out on a date. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. When you have the opportunity, you're too tired to accept it. And this is the stage that you're getting to, Pisces. Something has to give. And this is you. Pushing people away, heading off in a different direction for a few days, moving into hermit mode. All right, guys. Let's delve in. Michael, what is the Six of Cups in the reverse, crossed with the Three of Swords? You're missing this simple life, Pisces. You're just wanting to go back to that quiet, relaxed, no phones, no social media, no one wanting things from you. You're, you're just really wanting to go back to that time. Four of Pentacles, hanging on to that simple life. I mean, this is someone who, yeah, they've only got four pentacles, but they're standing well back. They're holding on to a little bit of the money that they've got and they're contemplating life. I'm okay. I don't have a great deal, but I'm at peace. I'm thinking about things. I need time to think. This is you. I don't want to talk to anyone. I've got just about enough for me to take a break. You're hanging on to that simple life. Temperance. For some of you, you are healing. You need time to heal. You've been covering heartbreak with endless work. You need to take your foot off the gas, guys. This is you treading water, coasting. It's okay to coast for a few days, Pisces. You don't always have to be busy. It's okay. You need to balance your emotions. There may be something deep down that you have been heartbroken about, that you've been covering up. You now need to get to grips with healing that energy. Michael, what is the Five of Swords in the immediate past? I mean, this is you unable to walk away from work just too much. I, I can't leave, I can't leave. And this is people taking from you, emotionally, in terms of your time, your energy. Nine of Wands, look at you, exhausted. Oh, so many people want from me. You're exhausted. struggling on. Michael, what is the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse? <laughs> Four of Swords. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry I'm laughing because this is a tricky card. I mean, this is you in a battle. I mean, this is you struggling on. Okay, yeah, I've got to carry on with work. I've got to keep going. People expect from me. I'm exhausted though, but I've got to keep going. This is you going, thank God. Oh, no more work for a few days. This is you in a log cabin, sitting with a fire on, wherever you are in your world, relaxing. I don't want to have to do anything whatsoever. If I want to sleep until noon, I'm going to sleep until noon. This is you really resting. And it could be that you are at the same time, Pisces, clearing out a little bit of that heartbreak, right? You're just letting yourself relax. Michael, what is the hanging man? You're telling someone that you're really stuck. I just need to get out of this feeling stuck energy. saying to your boss you know um i need to take a few days off <laughs> yeah 
Guys, can't make this up. Strength in reverse. You've got no strength anymore. You're just sapped of all your energy, Pisces. You just can't deal with much more. You can't deal with much more. Devil in reverse. Maybe for some of you, you have been overworking to the point of exhaustion, almost sitting in that devil energy, which can be anything taken to an extreme. In your case, Pisces, I think the extreme is just doing too much to the point where you have kind of missed the point of what you've been doing. The point of work is obviously to learn, to grow, but also to, on a practical basis, earn enough money to pay the bills. But I think, Pisces, you might have just gone overboard. Well, I can pay the bills, but now I want to save a little bit of money on the side. Yeah, but it means that you're depleting yourself. This has become obsessive. It's become toxic. It's become a cycle of you pushing yourself all the time and you just need to release that energy. I don't have to work as hard as I do. I actually don't have to work as hard as I do. Yeah, two of pentacles in the reverse. I have made a decision that something has to go. This is you juggling projects, people, emails, paperwork. And there is this beautiful ship that you could get on and just sail off for a few days, but you're not. You're not. You're just busy, 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 busy. This is you deciding, no, to hell with it. Drop these. Drop these projects. Drop these people. I just have to get on that ship and just have some peace. Even if I lose a little bit of money, I just need to get away. Yeah. 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 Five of Wands in the reverse. I mean, maybe other people have said, no, Pisces, what are you doing? We need you. You can't leave right now. Maybe you've been fighting off the competition, whatever this is. You're saying, no, you can fight amongst yourselves. I'm, st I'm still going on holiday. <laughs> yeah. For some of you, you've just been in a crazy busy situation. And... Um, you need to take a step down, okay? Yeah. There we go. High Priestess. Moving into silence. Don't disturb me. I'm going to have three days of sitting, relaxing, walking, detoxing. I don't want to talk to anyone for a few days. This is silence. This is meditation. This is using your intuition. You're getting back to the core of you, enjoying that peace just for a few days. You need to get back to your high priestess. This is the inner you. Michael, who is sat in the Knight of Cups in the reverse? Okay. A legal contract, maybe a client who's unhappy. No, I want you to take this work on for me. And you're saying, no, sorry, not speaking at the moment. Not taking emails at the moment. But this legal contract, no, no, sorry. They're unhappy. Emperor in the reverse. You could be dealing with somebody who is potentially a little bit controlling. This could be a boss, okay? This could be a client, emperor in the reverse. Why aren't you there, Pisces? I want you there. We need you. No, sorry. You're just saying no. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Two of Wands. Well, we can't do anything without you, Pisces. We need you back. We can't move forward without you. Well, I'm sorry, but I just need to uh, take a step back. Knight of Wands in reverse. There's going to be no progress in this project without you, Pisces. We can't do anything without you. Well, yeah, but um, I'm just not around. <laughs> we 
We can't manifest this new client, this project. We can't do this without you. Well, okay, well, now you know how much you need me. Maybe it's time for a pay rise when I get back from my lovely holiday. <laughs> Pisces. Anything else? Anything else, Michael? On the high priestess. Yeah, six of but you're just not giving as much as you used to. I'm just not giving as much of me as I used to. I just I'm not doing it. Yeah, three of wands, look at you. You're turning your back and you're getting on that ship. <laughs> yeah, no, well, I'm heading off. I'm having a few days break. I'm going to go and take a break. I'm going to sit by the water somewhere. Really relaxed. I'm going to write my diary. I might do some meditation. I might do some yoga. I might take my pet for nice walks. Whatever you're doing, you're just, just very calmly, peacefully just saying no and turning your back. People in your environment may be a bit stressed, but they may end up appreciating you more, Pisces, because maybe they have always expected you to be there. And with you turning around and saying, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be there for a few days, they suddenly appreciate you a lot more. Who knows? Michael, what is the Page of Cups? Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry, I just want to be by myself. I want peace and tranquility and calm. I don't want to see anyone. I just want to enjoy being out in nature. Sorry. I'm turning my back on the busyness, the hectic life that I have lived. So far, just for a few days. Ace of Cups. I need to fill my own cup. I need to get back to me again. Think about what makes me happy. Yes, relighting the fire within you. I need to feel passionate about my work. I've lost that passion. I've lost that drive. I've just been over stretching myself. Once I fill my own cup, once I get my passion back, once I've had some peace and quiet, I will return. But for now, no. No. Queen of Cups. This is you. Once you get yourself back together again, Pisces, you can give again. But not until you get your passion back. Not until. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Now I'm ready to get back to life. You're grounding yourself back down again after this break, Pisces, where you filled your own cup, you've got your passion back. Now you can get back into your emails, back into client work. The Ace of Pentacles, getting back to reality in many ways. But you need this break. Look at that, three Aces. You're going to feel a different person after this time, Pisces. You really are. You're just going to feel a different person. Yep. Yeah. You really are. Okay. Two of swords in reverse. So you may literally be blocking everyone out of your life. Putting a message on, you know, your work email. Sorry, I'm going on holiday for a couple of weeks. You're opening up after saying no for a little bit of time. You're opening back up. Going through your emails again. Talking to clients again. Anything else, my Pisces, Michael? Okay. Wow. Ace of Swords. For some of you, you're getting back from a few days break. Look at that. Unbelievable. Four Aces, Pisces. You're getting back after this break and you're deciding to cut a few things out of your life. You're just realising, I don't have to do that. Why did I do that? Why did I agree to take on that? I don't need to do that. It's taking too much from me. 
So you are now calling the shots, Pisces. No, I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to take on those clients. I don't think I want to take on that extra project. I don't care if it's going to give me a bit more money. I just, I can't deal with it. You're cutting out things in your life, Pisces, which you have realised you don't need to handle that have been draining you. And the Wheel of Fortune moves you into a new cycle, a healthier cycle, Pisces. Yeah, a healthier cycle. The star, taking a break. This is you creating a healthier pattern of work, way of working. You know, for some of you, you're deciding, no, I can't work eight hours in the day. I am going to take a good hour for my lunch. I'm not going to read extra emails on my Blackberry, on my phone, on my iPad, whatever this is, during my lunch break. No, I'm going to take a complete hour's break. I might even go to the gym. Go for a long walk, sit in the park, listen to music. You're rearranging your schedule to allow you some you time. Because you need to balance your yin and your yang energies, Pisces. I think you've been pushing your masculine side a lot. You're getting back to your feminine side. Self-care, self-nurture. And this new cycle that you're entering, Pisces, is going to be much, much healthier for you. You're going to feel the benefit of it. So this for you is a big transition. Just those few days break, Pisces, you're going to feel a different person. And you may come back from that time thinking, how did I manage to deal with all that in the past? Things need to change. For some of you, you may even be considering a career change. I just don't want to have this job anymore. It's exhausting me. Even if I earn less money, I realise that I need to look after me. I need a quality of life. So, people, living it there, interesting reading. Take care of you, sending love and light your way, and many blessings. Bye now.